how did I meet your mum? Um, well, it goes back to, uh, I, I, I suppose, when I moved into my first flat. I had signed up for a, an adult education evening course to do drama. So we went along to these rehearsals um, and um, uh, your mum came in and she had that big white furry coat on. I just, I always remember her walking in. It's the first time I clapped eyes on her and yeah, and I said, oh, nice looking lady. And at the end, um, at the end of the rehearsal session, we came out and she kissed me goodnight. I used to work in a restaurant and there was a girl I worked with and um, she was good friends with Stuart, with, with Stuart then. And she kind of fancied him as well, so I backed off and I didn't do anything about it. I didn't let him know that I liked him. Further down the line, we just like became friends before we actually hooked up and started going out together. And then we just went from there. Really, just started going out of each other, and then the relationship grew. Yeah, I think it must have been Christmas Day or somewhere around that. She realised she was actually properly pregnant. But we went round to see uh, Sarah and Ray, and uh, yeah, and Sue said, "Yeah, I'm expecting a baby." And um, and so Sarah just comes out straight away. So, are you going to get married? And um, Oh, I can remember it now. Yeah. Yeah, I just looked across the table at Sue and said, why don't we get married? It's, um, yeah, we're going to have one. It, it was always the intention to have have at least two. Yeah, we're going to wait at least two years and then we'll try for the next one. She got pregnant almost immediately, sort of thing, with Lilith, sort of thing. Megan was three, nearly four. So we had Megan and she was our bridesmaid. So we just wanted to, like, we knew we wanted more children, so we decided we wanted to be one name, like a proper family. So that's what we did. We got married and then a year after that we had Lewis. Your mum wasn't right for a few months. She started saying, oh, I found this lump, lump in my breast. So I suppose I, suppose I was still clinging to the idea of, you know, first of all, of, oh, this is probably nothing, to, oh, yes, this is something, but it's really early on, we're probably going to be OK with this. And... It was so unusual for someone to pick me up from work, and I just could tell in his face and his voice that something wasn't right, and then he told me, and then all these things go in your head. After accepting and trying your hardest to sort of get through it all, it's very difficult. That person that, when you, when you do things in life and you want to talk about that whatever you've done to that person, they're not there anymore. So you have to learn to accept that. Unfortunately, Stuart, my husband, he he didn't have a high survival rate because of the cancer he had. I'm very. It's only four years, which is a short time to a lot of people if you look at it, but it feels like a lifetime to me. She, she, she had a very good positive outlook of yeah, this might be happening to me, but she didn't want it, you know, to stop you or Lilith doing what you wanted to do. It was funny because when he'd go away on, on courses, like, to do with his work, I'd, like, really miss him, and then I'd be, like, beaming and waiting for him. Like, if I met him off the train or we met up, I'd be, like, a silly little schoolgirl.